Meryl from DiffBot here, and today I'm going to take you through a high-level overview of the types of fields that can be returned from DiffBot's Natural Language API. First off, what is our Natural Language API? It's a benchmark-topping natural language processing tool that can take unstructured natural language documents and transform them into structured data. Use cases include tracking topics that are being talked about, tracking sentiment of entities mentioned, building a knowledge graph from natural language documents of your choice, tagging content for topics, mining into reviews, and generally pulling unstructured text into a structured format for analysis or consumption. The main fields returned by DiffBot's natural language API start with entities. These are typically nouns like people, organizations, a position or award held, products, among others. Depending on the type of entity, different facts and relationships can be pulled out. What I mean by this is that organizations may have employees, while person entities may have a field of work or an education. When an entity holds a relationship with another entity, this relationship is clarified with a property type. Jumping into a demo, you can see this at work where we've parsed a paragraph about Mike Tung, CEO of DiffBot. In graphical format, what we're seeing are entities, essentially nodes, and linkages between them. And each of these linkages is highlighting a particular property type. For example, the DiffBot entity has a property of Chief Executive Officer, and that property has a value of the Mike Tung entity. Vice versa, Mike Tung has a property of Employee or Member of, and this has a value of the entity DiffBot. For each entity returned, two very valuable values are presented, salience and sentiment. And this is really a distinguishing feature of DiffBot's Natural Language API when compared to other NLP tools, that each entity has its own sentiment score rather than just a sentiment score for the entire document. In our case, salience ranges between 0 and 1. The higher the value, the more central the entity is to understanding the meaning of the document. This can basically tell you what a document is primarily about. Sentiment scores range from negative 1, very negative, to 1, very positive. I should note that the NL API also returns the overall sentiment of the document, though this is not pictured in this demo. In the next tab, you can see facts. This is a table view of what constituted the initial graph view of our parsed natural text. Note that each entity is attached to other entities with a property describing the relationship type. Depending on the property type, a qualifier might be present. For example, this entry notes that Mike Tung has a property employee or member of with eBay. While this qualifier notes that this property is not currently held. Rather, this is a past relationship. Within this graphical demo, note that hovering over each fact, entity, or value pulls out the location where this element was found in the document. When querying the API, all elements contain mentions values that provide data provenance for where a given element was found. Next up are open facts. Open facts don't rely on the set properties attached to entities. Rather, they're directly inferred from the text. These can be used to discover new property types, which leads us to our next field, custom facts. If you have a property type that you find useful that's not included in the default ontology of an entity, you can add examples to train the NL API here. Note that you can choose the type of entity that this new property belongs to, as well as what type of entity the value should be. Then you can provide positive or negative examples in natural language of your own. Insert less than e greater than where the entity would likely fall on a sentence, and less than v greater than where the value would likely fall, with example text in between. This lets you expand the default fact types returned by the NL API for niche uses or if you primarily care about one type of relationship. Note that you can also pass in custom lists of entities when using the API programmatically. Next we have categories, which provide IAB version 1 and 2 topic categories for the document you provide. Finally, it's of note that as with all DiffBot products, a wide range of languages are supported. Sentiment scores are available for documents in over 100 languages, while entities and salience are available in most major languages. Thanks for following along with our Natural Language Fundamentals walkthrough. Be sure to check out our other Fundamentals videos to get up and running with our Knowledge Graph, AI Web Data Extraction, and Natural Language Processing Suite in a matter of minutes.